Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to go over nested virtualization with Proxmox. So I recently was working on some guides that required Docker Desktop, and I've been using Proxmox as a way to easily spin up Windows 11 VMs or Ubuntu VMs and create the guides, and that allows me to just make a bunch of different configurations, and it just makes things so much easier. But when I went to install Docker Desktop, I noticed that my Windows 11 VM no longer booted. And looking into it a little bit more, I had just assumed that virtualization, nested virtual, virtualization was going to work because I was using the host as my CPU. But it looked like I needed to add a bunch of different flags to my config. And I did a little Google searching and I found a few different forum posts. And finally, I came across uh, some stuff that actually worked. So the first thing that you need to do is when you're in your Proxmox, go up to the main PVE here. Well, actually, I think uh, first thing you should really do in hardware is just make sure your processor is set to host. I found that to be the easiest way to make sure that this works. Then go to PVE, top right, you're going to want to do shell. And let me just add that window real quick. All right, let's do, actually, let's get this a little bit bigger. So it's gonna look a little bit funky probably, but uh, let's go back to here and we're gonna see, we need to open up our config file for our VM. So for me, uh, it's 101, as you can see on the left-hand side here. And uh, went to the wrong thing here. Let me bring this back up. Okay, so we'll do nano Etsy PVE QEMU server. And then if you double tab here, you can see which ones you have available. Mine is 101. And then I already have the flags in here, but they're going to just be these flags that are listed down here. Include the args, and then I have a 14th gen CPU. So I wasn't too sure why Cooper Lake was needed, but actually when I removed that, it no longer worked. So I just left it in there. It seems to work fine. The only side effect of this is when I go into my computer and I right click and I go to system, it previously said 14900K and now it says Intel Xeon processor. Everything works great. Docker desktop installs just fine. Uh, virtualization installs just fine. Uh, so I don't really think there's any downside to that other than your CPU just shows up uh, slightly different. So you can just go ahead and paste that command in here and then do control X and then you'll press Y and then enter to save. Mine's already been updated, so I don't need to do that. And then you should be able to restart your computer. I usually will go in uh, to the turn windows features on and off. And I'll scroll down to Hyper-V, I'll check that box and click OK, and that will install the hypervisor and then reboot your computer, install what it needs to install, and then from there you're able to install WSL2, you're able to install Docker Desktop, and you're able to use nested virtualization. So hopefully this was helpful. It took me a little while to figure this out. I don't know if this is the best way, I don't know if this is even the way that you're supposed to do it, but it seems to be working fine for me. So if it helped you out, Feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.